Chicago Public School students are facing yet another change, but it may not be the one many parents were hoping for. After two weeks of distance learning, middle and high school students will go back to hybrid learning on October 19th, but not in the same hybrid model. And elementary students will move to in-person instruction four days a week starting October 26th. Well, ideally, we want K through 12 Monday through Friday going. That's ideally, and I think the data supports that. And that's where I think a lot of the parent frustration is coming into play. Right now, I think we're, we're prioritizing the risk a lot higher than what it actually is. Fargo Public is the only area school system to have made as many changes so far this year. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly digs into the decision-making process. Since Fargo Public Schools began about one month ago, the Coronavirus Task Force Committee for the district has made changes over and over. We asked the superintendent what exactly is going into these decisions. There isn't any specific threshold, but there's all those factors that get taken into consideration. Dr. Gandhi says the task force considers county data, statistics within the schools, as well as data within the district, also considering guidance from health officials. However, there are no set parameters to determine exactly what happens. It is at the discretion of the committee. We know that it's in inconvenient, but at the same point, uh, that's the nature of right now is that things are changing on a daily basis. We have to be able to respond accordingly. Laying it all out, back in August, it was announced that all Fargo students would begin the year in a hybrid model. Less than a month later, on September 8th, protocol changes were made, including what happens if someone tests positive for COVID-19. Two weeks later, middle school and high school students were told they would be sent home for distance learning. And that brings us to today, where students will soon be able to return to the classroom at least part of the time, but on a different hybrid schedule. And and it's expecting even more changes soon. Last week, um, there was a significant change from the governor's office in the quarantine requirements, and that significantly impact and change the way that we're able to operate schools. So obviously that's gonna lead to a potential decision change as well because that made a big impact for us as a committee. Compared to other area districts like West Fargo and Moorhead, Fargo is the only local school system to have made as many changes so far this school year. In Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. And if you'd like more insights surrounding the district's decisions, the task force meetings, task force meetings are available online.